Welcome to Animating with OpenTunes. In this video, I'll cover what's in this course. OpenTunes is a free open source 2D animating software that I use for a lot of my short films. And in this course, I'll cover what you need to know to be able to create some of your own animations using the software. The course is broken into six parts. Basics, drawing, animating, advanced tools and techniques, extra tips and tricks, and examples and breakdowns. In the first part, basics, we cover the installation of OpenTunes, the layout and all the various tools. First of all, you need to download the latest version of OpenTunes and we cover that. Secondly, what's very important is to load the FFmpeg files that you'll be needing to import and export MPEGs, which you'll need later on when you're creating your finished animation. Then we cover the tools available in OpenTunes, the layout of the windows in your workspace, etc. In part two, we cover the various drawing methods that you can use in OpenTunes. OpenTunes has both vector and raster drawing levels, and we cover both of them. We look into the various methods we can use to draw in OpenTunes, the brushes, etc., available in the raster levels, and how to manipulate the vectors, etc., etc. In part three, the section on animating, we explore the various ways we animate in OpenTunes. Basically, there are two main ways to animate in OpenTunes. There's the frame by frame method where you draw each frame individually and change the character's appearance slightly frame by frame. And then the second way is by using what we call puppets or cutouts. And OpenTunes has two ways to animate those using plastic and using bone and we cover both of those methods. In part four, we look into more advanced tools and techniques that are available in OpenTunes. So that includes digging into the powerful effects part of OpenTunes where you can create things like mists and clouds and dust, light effects, reflections, shadows, blurs, etc, etc. Very powerful stuff. In part five, we cover some extra tips and tricks that includes using the depth available in this 2D software to create parallax in your scenes. And also we look at creating 3D backgrounds that we project onto and we pull back into OpenTunes to use in our animations, etc, etc. The last part is examples and breakdowns, where I go through how I use OpenTunes and all these tools and methods that I cover in the course in my work and we look at several breakdowns of scenes in, in the work that I've done, taking apart every scene piece by piece so that you can see how it's put together. To find the course, click on the link in the description. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And also, if you'd like to sign up for the newsletter, go ahead and sign up there. And thanks very much for joining me. All the best.